Hey you guys, um, I am back again with a dream that I had early this morning. Um, I had awoke around, I want to say it was after 5 this morning when I had awoke from this dream. Um, but it was a very brief dream. And basically, from what I can remember, um, it was nighttime and, you know, myself, including other people, were outside. And, you know, there were some people that I knew, some people that I didn't know. But it just looked like, you know, people were just kind of carrying on, you know, just kind of walking and talking amongst themselves and, you know... And at some point, I remember looking up in the sky. Now, I don't know why it is that a lot of my dreams, I'm looking up in the sky because this has been going on for years. Like, it just seems like every time, you know, God is about to show me a vision or whatnot, it's like I'm looking up in the sky, in the heavens, and I'm seeing like these miraculous events taking place. And I don't know if this sky represents like revelation. I don't I don't know, but I just know a lot of my, my dreams kinda start out that way before I'm actually shown like, you know, what is about to take place. But um it it basically was like I had looked up in the sky and all of a sudden I started hearing like this loud explosion like it was so loud and I don't want to say it was fire like coming down out of the heavens because I didn't see fire but it was loud like and, and this is the, the weird part um when I was looking up in the sky and mind you it was nighttime but it was almost as if my vision allowed me to see like more clear um when i was looking up in the sky like i knew i was the only one able to see it you know because everybody else was so busy running around you know panicking trying to hide you know trying to get out of the open area and trying to find you know shelter you know to keep from you know being exposed to you know it, it, I, I guess you could say it was like a bomb or something. Um, but I, my eyes was able to see so clear. Like, and, and the interesting thing is when I was looking up in the sky, it I, I could see almost like this. Um, I know this is going to sound weird, but it was like it was a spirit being. And it was the reason why I say spirit because it was almost like I could see something but it blended in with the sky but I could see movement okay but it was a spirit being and I could see this spirit being like forming it's <laughs> And almost looked like he was dropping like balls, you know, um, like I said, I don't want to say it was balls of fire because I didn't see fire, but it's almost like I could see what was going on in the spirit and I was literally also able to see and manifest in the natural realm. I hope that made sense, but that's pretty much what it was like I could literally see this spirit being in the in the heavens dropping something like you could see his hands forming it and he would drop it down and then he would I could see his hands again forming another one and then he would drop it like that's what was going on and every time he would drop it it was like this this loud explosion like it was so loud like I could I could see people literally like running, you know, covering their head, like ducking and dodging because they they were trying to get away from the explosion, you know, the, trying to keep from getting hurt. And I remember thinking to myself, 
you know, because I was watching these people running and I was thinking to myself, why are y'all running? You know, you can't hide from God. I don't know. That was like the thought that was in my head. Um, but, you know, I I wasn't running in the dream. Like, I was just literally kind of just standing around watching. Like, it didn't allow me to run along with them, basically. I was seeing everybody else running. Um, but, yeah, you know, and, and like I said, it was very brief. If it was more to it, God didn't allow me to remember it when I got up this morning. But when I woke up this morning, like I probably was up for a good maybe five minutes and I fell right back to sleep. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I saw. And so I don't know you guys. I mean, I know there's been a lot of bombings going on. I don't know if that's why I saw what I saw. But I mean, yesterday I really wasn't watching anything on the news. I really wasn't. Um, it wasn't like something that I was, you know, entertaining myself with for the day. And that's why I dreamt it. Like, I don't, I don't believe that's why I dreamt what I dreamt. Like, I believe this has some kind of significant meaning. Um, I do believe that what we're seeing occurring in America, I do believe that is going to increase. And I don't say that, you know, to be negative or to, you know, wish harm on America. I just know that, you know, things are getting more intense because, you know, it's it's almost time, you guys. I mean, it's, it's almost time, you know. And with Jesus almost on the way, you know, the enemy is pressing in that much more harder. You know what I mean? So it, it really doesn't surprise me as far as what I'm seeing going on, I mean, just last week alone, I mean, like literally for the whole week, there was so much devastation, you know, um, major earthquakes, um, you know, all of the bombings, the shootings. I mean, it's, we can't be surprised by this anymore. I mean, you know, of course we don't want to hear about, you know, people dying and, you know, all of this tragedy, you know, yeah, we don't want to hear about this, you know, but at the same time, we can't be surprised by this either. You know, we, we are literally, um, at the very end and we just have to keep on pressing in. We have to keep running our race, you know, and we have to keep seeking God more now than ever because this, this thing is, is, is about to come to an end like it's it's wrapping up you know and i i just i believe that you know we just have to really stay in prayer you guys you know it's it's hard for me at times you know to really be around a lot of people because so many people just don't realize what's really going on because you know the the, the media is not really telling the people what's going on you know they're not really telling us, you know, so many people are so caught up in Hollywood. They're so caught up in, you know, materialistic things and just things of the world. You know, there is like, we're in a, you know, people are in a matrix, you know, and my whole thing is, you know, we have to unplug from the matrix and wake up to the real world. And the real world is things are really intensifying in the earth and we have to pay attention to this you know we can't you know bury our head in the sand and, and just think that everything is going to be fine you know and and yeah you know those of us that you know know who you know who we are to, you know those of us who is building our our life you know in Christ, who we are finding, you know, safety and, you know, um, protection, you know, because he, that's what he's doing, you know, he's protecting his people, you know, we are abiding, you know, 
in his wings, under his wings for, you know, protection. And I mean, just having Christ in your heart, you know, having a relationship with Christ, I mean, he is opening our eyes to see when the world is blind and they they can't see. So, you know, we need Christ more now than ever. We need him because we can't, we cannot go through this by ourselves. We just can't. It's too much evil. It's too much evil. But, you know, greater is he that is within us than he that is in the world. You know, and I just, you know, encourage you guys to, you know, just keep trusting God. You know, don't don't be discouraged. Don't operate out of fear. I know a lot of these events are hitting close to home, but we cannot be afraid because we have to believe that God, he loves us. He is protecting us. He knows everything, God, uh, guys, he knows everything. So we can't become discouraged. We can't lose faith. You know, and I just trust that, you know, you all are in good spirits. Um, I pray that you all will continue to just speak to people, keep ministering to people, keep sounding the alarm, keep warning people. And I know some people are not going to listen, but you're planting the seeds. You're planting the seeds. And so I love you guys. Um, if you have any comments you would like to share, you know, you can feel free to do so. Um, but yeah, I just, I really believe that, you know, we are literally on the brink of Jesus coming back. Like it is so close. And I know a lot of you guys feel it too. Well, I hope you all have a very productive week. And if God gives me any more dreams this week, I will make sure I share it with you. Love you guys again. Bye.